Welcome to this lesson video. Today we'll be looking at Mathematics 1510, which is pre-calculus A. We are going to focus on completing a square. Let us start. We have two general equations. Both of these equations are quadratic equations. It's just that in the manner which they are, it's different. We have this manner. You can see there's no bracket. And then we also have this one. Now, there is an advantage of the second equation, which is this one. We all know that a quadratic equation represents or describes a parabola function. Now, we all know that a parabolic function, it has a maximum or minimum. And then we also have a turning point. So looking at this type of an equation, C and P, they represent the turning point. Sometimes instead of C, it's Q. These two values which will be here, they represent the turning point. Now from this general equation, we cannot see the turning point of a parabolic graph. But with this type of a general equation or equation, which is in this manner, we can see the general, not the general. We can see the turning point of the parabolic graph. Now, most of the question papers, there is a question whereby you'll be given a equation in this format and then the question says transform this equation or write it in this form so basically we are going to transform an equation which is given in this manner to this format so that we can be able to determine the maximum and the minimum so today's lesson is based on how to transform a standardized equation in this manner to this manner. We look at our example. We are going to work through this example. Now the first step, how do we transform it to the bracket form? Our first step, we need to make sure that the coefficient of x raised to the power 2, which is this number here, it must be positive 1. If it's not positive 1, we need to do something with this number. Now, what do we do? f of x is equals to. We are going to factorize. We are going to factor out this number here. So, what will happen is that when we factorize, we are going to have negative 2 outside the bracket. If we remove negative 2 from negative 2 x squared, we are going to be left with x squared. Then we go to the second term. We remove negative 2 from positive 4x. We are going to remain with negative 2x. Negative 2, we factor out negative 2. We are going to be left with negative, actually it's positive 1. I hope you can see this. That is the first step. We need to make sure that the coefficient of x raised to the power 2 is positive 1. Now you can see that after factorizing, it's positive 1 indeed. So everything is good. We continue. Our next step, we are going to introduce... We are going to introduce a term. How do we introduce a term? That term will be between, actually let's say it will be before the constant and after the constant. What is the constant? The general equation we said it's like this, ax squared plus bx plus c. Whenever I say the coefficient of x squared, 
I'm referring to A. When I say the coefficient of x, I'm referring to B. When I say the constant, I'm referring to this number here, which doesn't have a variable. There's no letter. It's simply a number. So the numbers which we are going to introduce, it's between uh, the middle term and the constant. And we are also going to introduce after the constant. So the number that we are going to introduce, we are going to introduce, will be inside the bracket raised to the power 2. And then we have our constant. After the constant, we no longer introduce with positive, but we put negative. So it's simply positive, negative, plus, minus. And then we close the bracket. Now, inside the bracket, what is that number that we are going to introduce? We look at the coefficient of x raised to the power 1. It's what? It's negative 2. So, it will be negative 2 multiplied by 1 over 2. Always negative 2 multiplied by 1 over 2. We continue. Negative 2 x squared minus 2x plus inside the bracket what is negative 2 multiplied by half it's simply negative 1 squared plus now listen to me very well for the first bracket don't simplify the bracket with this power 2 you simply simplify inside the bracket only and then you you rewrite the power 2 for the second for this one we actually need to simplify this constant and the bracket together so it will be is positive 1 minus inside the bracket we have negative 1 negative 1 raised to the power 2 negative 1 squared is positive 1 that positive 1 multiplied by negative 1 it will give us plus 1 minus 1 so for the first bracket don't simplify the second bracket simplify from there we are left with plus 0 and then from there inside the brackets inside the square bracket we look at the terms which are raised to the power 2 and then we are going to group them you can see the first one is this one the second one is this one so we are going to do this x squared minus 1 no actually it's supposed to be x minus 1 raised to the power 2 plus 0 and then from there we remove the bracket this multiply by this it will be negative 2 x minus 1 squared negative 2 multiplied by 0 it's simply 0 then you can see that we are done transforming our equation this is f of x this is the procedure on how to rewrite the equation in this format we look at a second example Our second example was extracted from January, February 2015. That is Mathematics 1510. Now we need to transform from this format to that one of bracket. Now as you can see that the coefficient is not positive 1. So we need to factor out negative 1. So we are left with x squared minus 4x minus 1 then from here we introduce so we have x squared minus 4x plus negative 4 multiplied by 1 over 2 squared minus 1 minus 
negative 4 multiplied by 1 over 2 squared. Negative x squared minus 4x plus negative 4 multiplied by 1 over 2 is actually negative 2 squared. And then let us simplify this. We know that inside the bracket we have negative 2. Negative 2 raised to the power 2 is positive 2. Positive 2 multiplied by uh, negative 1, it's negative 2, so we have negative 3. From here, we take the terms which are raised to the power 2. So we have x minus 2 squared, and then we have minus 3. Then from here, we multiply this negative. We are going to have negative x minus 2 squared. This and this, it's positive 3. We are done with this question. This is f of x. Our next question, it was extracted from January, February 2016. Pre-calculus met 1510. Now for this question, we need to standardize. What is to standardize? We make sure that the first term, it must be the term with the highest power. So in this case, we must write negative 4. T squared plus 32 T. Then from here, we factorize negative 4 t squared minus 8t from there we need to introduce t squared minus 8t plus negative 8 multiplied by 1 over 2 squared minus negative 8 multiplied by 1 over 2 squared then we close the bracket t it's equals to negative 4. t squared negative 8t plus negative 4 squared and then we have negative 4 we have negative 4 raised to the power 2 which is uh, positive 16 Positive 16 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 16. We have negative 4. T minus 4 squared minus 16. Then from here we have negative 4. T minus 4 squared positive 64 that is h h at t there is a way to verify this you can quickly try to simplify the bracket let us verify we have negative 4 we start by expanding this t minus 4 plus 64 and then we have negative 4 it will be t squared uh, this and this will be negative 8t this and this will be positive 16 plus 64 
then from there we have negative 4t squared positive 32t and negative 64 plus 64 so you can see that this and this will result into 0 and then our final equation is negative 4t squared plus 32t which is the given equation so you can see that we can actually reverse this you simply verify by simplifying the bracket and then it will give us the initial given equation now that's it for this lesson video this is Wahula is J thank you very much